Today I'm going to be showing you how to program a smart key to a Mitsubishi Lancer 2011 model. This is a sports back Lancer. So as you can see, we have a non-working remote. And also, as you can see, the car will not start as well. It says key is missing. So first thing we're going to do, is we'll put the key aside for a second. And we're going to plug in our OBD2 to the OBD2 port. Now the OBD2 port on this particular vehicle is directly above the accelerator pedal, kind of to the right of the steering column. Once we've plugged in the actual diagnostics, you'll see you'll get a power light and you should get a Bluetooth light. The Bluetooth light does need to be solid blue. If you are getting a flashing blue and red, it means that it's not actually communicating with the tablet correctly for some reason. Alrighty, so we'll put that down there, and we're going to actually open the OBD star. We're going to select the DP program. You're going to hit agree on the disclaimer. You're going to hit diag program. We're going to hit immobilizer on the left hand side. And then you're going to scroll through the manufacturers until you find Mitsubishi. Select the latest version of Mitsubishi. This version is version 30.41. Select OK. And then we're going to go to China. We're going to go select by type. And we're going to go type 2 can with smart. Now what it's going to ask you to do here is pull out the mechanical key from the smart key and put it backwards back into the smart key. So I'll visually actually show you how to do this. As you can see, it has an emergency key. You'll slide the emergency key out of the actual casing, and then you're gonna place it backwards into the actual housing. So I guess you could say you've got like a long extendo key sort of thing going on. From here, you're gonna actually turn the ignition, the emergency ignition to the on position using this key. So I'm going to show you quickly, this particular vehicle has a turn knob for a start. That's the actual starting ignition. So what you want to do is you actually want to, on each side of the actual turn knob, there's a release catch. You push both of those release catches in and the actual turn knob, knob itself will remove. And then underneath that, there's a keyway and that's going to be where you want to insert your cut key and turn it to the on position. When I normally do this, I'll make sure the remote is facing me, the buttons of the remote is facing me in the ignition. That way if I need to push any buttons, I can do. So now that we have the car turned to the on position, come back to the actual diagnostic tool. As you can see, we've done the first part and then it says switch ignition on and push enter to continue. So now we're going to go, all smart keys lost. This particular code is 8A32. Now it's not the same for every vehicle, although Lancers, it is very common for them to be 8A32. So just make sure you know A, what vehicle you're dealing with, and B, if you need to get a code from a dealer, make sure you do. From there, we're going to go done, OK going to ask us to double check the input value of 8A32, which we've done. We're going to hit OK. It's now communicating with the vehicle, programming the actual transponder. As you can see, programming success, whether to program next one, we're going to hit no. Now it's going to say press smart key lock button two times in one minute. So you should get a sound from the actual vehicle indicating that it's programmed the key. It's not always the case. So I've now pushed it. I generally push it a couple of more times just to be safe as well. So we're gonna wait about another 20, 30 seconds sort of thing, just to make sure that it has put the vehicle out of programming mode correctly. Now I'd say that's about uh, getting close to a minute sort of thing. So we're now going to hit back on the actual device. 
and it says program complete. So we'll hit OK. Next step is to remove the key from the lock. Terminating the system. Insert the key back into the emergency slot position. Make sure you put it in the right way. And test the remote. So first part, the remote works fine. The next part is you want to actually test the smart key as well. So we can now turn the ignition and start the vehicle. So that has now programmed and we're all done. Thank you very much.